Welcome back, I'm Vader Van Odin. I am Odin. Well, what is it today? I'm invisible. Yes, it's just me for now. Uh, we are in Dark in Orlando, as you can see. And we are heading to the Grand Archives. But I started here because I honestly don't remember... I pray before you. ...the Ornstein and Orn Smo statues. I, I, pr I pray. Odin's so, hanging out in front of the Smo, Smo statue. I pray to you, Smo. But do you know what's interesting about this, Odin? Hmm. That this is a very Western-styled game. There's a little bit of the... But with a very Japanese twist. The way these statues are situated at, like, the um, precipice of Enelondo, uh, at two sides of the main gates, is very... Um, is very Japanese or very Asian. They have often have guardians to their temples and shrines. Yeah, like to sentinels who guard the entrance. Sometimes to... you would see like lions or. Yep, that's that's also yeah they're guards. Yep, but they actually have two like um some of the temples I went to in Japan have like big warriors these big and they're like kind of like demigods yeah. and that's very much how one seen the smo in this world and I never really picked up on that before. I don't actually remember seeing smo here. He must have been a statue. Must have been here. Maybe it looks better in HD remaster. But yeah, I just thought that was quite cool um, relationship to like the Japanese uh, temples and shrines and yeah. the Western style R um, RPG that it is. Yeah. Well, setting. Not. You RPG. need to open that chest. This but one. Go eat the other chest. Yeah, I know it's the other one. Yeah, it's the other one. You can tell by the chains because the chains are different, and you can tell it's breathing. Did you not one-shot it? No, they're pretty tough, these little guys. Crystal Halibut. Hey, buddy! <laughs> Did you see your friend? Yes! <laughs> Yo, buddy! So Odin's playing parallel to me uh, in his own game because you can't summon... Okay, so Odin, you see this funny crystal guy? Yeah. He wasn't aggro much. This is actually a new addition to the game with the DLC. Oh, it didn't kill him. Oh, so close. So I don't think it will work right now. See? Didn't drop anything. Yeah. And that's because we haven't fulfilled the requirements to trigger that. So he's there always. But for him to drop something, uh, we need to go speak to someone to trigger the start of the DLC. Uh -huh. So maybe we'll do that now before we continue on. What do you think? Yeah. So who do we need to talk to? All right, we... Oh, I never killed the Hydra. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Go away, Mr. Crystal Man. Because is that guy a mini boss? Because he doesn't act he doesn't have like a boss health. Oh, the Hydra? Yeah. Yeah, he's not a real, real boss. He's just like... He's a semi-boss. He's a mini boss. You're not dead yet. Oh, really? One more hit, probably. One more hit. There you go. Bye bye, Hydra. You have like two heads left, I think. Now, Odin, so what we do, now I've done that. We've got to come around the edge of the. you got to be careful because the water does disappear. I would recommend equipping the rusted iron ring. It lets you run through the, the shallow water. So now we've done that. What we're trying to do, we're trying to interact with a character that's from uh, a long time ago, and we can summon her in, but she has been trapped. So, what, on the edge? Yep. Did you equip the... Yeah, I equipped the ring. She should be able to run now. You don't have to be that, that careful. Oh, there we go. So, because I just killed the Hydra now, I had to load, reload the game, and the, get the Odin's about to fight this big crystal, golden crystal man. So golden. Holding on to what's golden, Odin. Oh, he, he just held on to me and punched me in the nose. Hit. And he's dead. And a lady just fell out of him. <laughs> that looked hilarious. That's weird. Ugh. And this is Dusk. Then, does thou who rescueth me, most yes. gracious, I am, I am deeply, deeply obliged. obliged. I am Dusk. Of Ulysseo. I cometh from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long, so 
Before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysses, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this oh, be sure. assistance to thee? Yes. My heartfelt thanks. I am pleased beyond words. Then I shout. Engrave my signature. If thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature. It seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. She's a cool, yeah. She's a cool character. So basically, you come back, run this way. Head back to where I just fought the Hydra, right by that magic rock by the uh, the magic rock by the it's not actually magic the rock by the Hydra, and we will find see right by where I recommend find the Hydra. There is a summon sign now, but different to most summon signs, as she doesn't come fight with you. Really? And she doesn't glow like a normal phantom. See. I am Dusk of Ulysseal. It is an honor to see thee again. I shall follow thine wishes. Uh, learn gesture. Proper bow. Purchase item. Hidden body. See, these are all the magic that I want for my magic character. <gasps> Rip oh, yes! Repair! I should equip that. Nope. Carmenium. Proper bow. And Purchase item. What's hidden body? Uh, it makes you disappear. Oh, that's cool. So here we go, and we're back. We've killed off the little crystal dudes. Now and the big one. The big crystal go golems now here. All right, that's my four hits. Literally just stops him from just off from killing him. That's annoying. So now when we kill him, we get the broken pendant. And if we go in and look at the broken pendant. Uh, half of a broken stone pendant, the vine appears to originate from Ulysseal. A powerful magic can be sensed from this ancient stone, yet men of this time can neither manipulate nor sense its power, which has a distinct air of consistent, consisting of both reverence and nostalgia. So Odin, well, now we've done that, we're ready to do the DLC in the future, so why don't we just continue on with the Grand Archives? Yep. Okay, this magic user is a real pain. We want to get in there and kill him quick. One shot with a jump gap. Nice work, dude. This is a pretty cool area, but be mindful that these guys, he gives the guys a buff, so a lot of them will be buffed and will, that's how you die so quick. So again, yeah, I can see a look like some on some of them have like a little blue. Aura. Yes, you're like a wave, wavy aura around them. Buried, payback through the gut. I was just about to praise the sun. He interrupted my praising. Guarantee Hell and five bucks him. says this says praise the sun. Praise the sun. <laughs> Perry, seven hundred and one damage. Yeah, I don't, look at I don't, that. I don't Sorry, dude. You did. Alrighty then. So my tip for this is so you don't lose your souls, you don't lose your humanity, anything, is to equip a uh, ring of sacrifice. It is the only time I use that ring, the ring in Dark Souls, and it's it's designed for this point, I a, believe. A ring of sacrifice is good, but you could also use a rare ring of sacrifice yep. if. Which is the same effect, but it's it's rarer. But he has two of them. I. And I have one of the normal ones. I don't know where we've missed your one. But what it does is that you die, but you don't lose. You don't any negative effects from the dying doesn't affect you. And this this point, we're about to go. I'm spoiling the surprise. We lose you, everything. You have to die. <laughs> so you have to move ahead. You ready? On three. Oh, he did it before. He didn't wait for three. But we're pretty much the same. So boss fight. Oh, look so at should that. Should I just let myself yeah. die? Yeah, it's fight. Um. Like you can try and stay alive, but there's literally nothing you can do. Like, you can... Like, we can't even hurt him. We'll try if you... Should I try to use a... If you oh. shoot lightning at him, watch. I don't have my lightning equipped, though. Because I've got Sunlight Blade on, instead. Should, yeah, should I just let myself die? Yeah, 
you, you don't you can be cursed here try and avoid being cursed that's the benefit you can be cursed by his crystals um, and if you die that way you want the rear ring of sacrifice because that's the difference is the rear ring of sacrifice uh, nullifies curse whereas luckily I didn't get cursed I died on natural causes cool. i.e. I got stabbed with a crystal in my butt <laughs> there ring of sacrifice shattered it did its job. Thank you very much. Well, can we open the door? I'll kill him first. I can't remember how long that took me the first time. He's a terrible guard, isn't he? <laughs> He's escaped! We have an escapee! It's actually probably the saddest part of the of Dark Souls like for me. Um, all those creatures, I believe, are made from maidens, ladies that Seath has captured and has experimented on and made those creatures. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run to the bottom, turn this music off, and we'll probably end this episode here. I think we've gone long enough. We've done, again, no co-op. It's a shame. But we've been experiencing and enjoying it together, so we just want to stop this music. It's annoying. Odin, see here's these creatures again. I died like a Muppet, but I'm back down here with the music off, the that weird sound, yeah. and they're not aggressive. Look, see? They're not going to attack me unless you go in there. Whereas before they were charging out, they've been tortured and experimented on, uh, basically, I believe, to be a, a form of safeguard and a weapon. And that music is forces them to attack. And obviously they attack now because they're obviously scared. Dusk of Ulusil, you see how she was captured? We just rescued her before, and she, well, where was she? She was inside a crystal golem. Yeah. And what have we fought in this area here? Crystal golems. So I, I believe those crystal golems are sent out by Seath to capture people. Maidens, mostly. Oh, yeah. Because don't they drop miracles? Yes. Yeah. They're just who they drop miracles. And they, they drop the, they the miracles, only, soothing sunlight. The, they were the only two in there for And miracle, me. bountiful sunlight. For me, I they think were the that's the spell we wanted for you, Odin. I think it is. Let's go have a look. Bountiful sunlight. Special miracle granted to the maidens of... See? Of Guinevere, princess of, of the sun. Gradual HP restoration for self and vicinity. So you cast that. We get gradual health, both me and you. It is... Soothing Sunlight. Special miracle granted to the Maidens of Guinevere, Princess of Sunlight, restores high HP for self and vicinity. That's the group heal we want for me and you. So yeah. you've got to get that equipped. Look who we've got here. Logan. Big Hat Logan. What a chance meeting this is. You won't have him there because you haven't continued the story. I don't suppose you could stage me a getaway. The archives. Such a storehouse of knowledge. So close but just out of reach. The thought offends me, so I could simply die. As a student of the arts, you understand me, yeah? So, I I don't get you to really far worry about him, because he's a magic user. So I've focused on him, because I use magic. Yeah. So I want to get him out, because I want to continue, because it's where you get your best... You've got the best miracle um, sunlight blade weapon. He gives me the best magic weapons, uh, spells. Okay. We're imprisoned, help us. We gotta help ourselves, man. <laughs> and hopefully next time we're back to bro whopping. Uh, once we're out of bro this whopping. kind of weird segment, it's a very cool set piece that they created, like a good storytelling experience. Yeah. But um, it, it, we can't co-op, which is what we're trying to do this playthrough. So then, send us off with a farewell. Well, if you enjoyed this amazing episode, best episode ever, we got captured and thrown in jail. Like, subscribe, and watch again for more jail fun. Episodes. Crystal shenanigans. Yeah. Well, Odin, you deserve to be in prison sometimes. <laughs> Alright, bye bye. Bye. Off with the thugs to drag you in. Who the hell are these dudes? Man, I don't even know them. And then they drop me off at the top of the staircase. It could have picked anywhere, but you plant me in this place. And